Abba Kerry reveals how Hush Poppy tricked him, uh, made him arrest Chibuzo Vincent. Abba Kerry, Nigeria Super Cup, has finally responded to allegations that he received bribe from Hush Poppy. Ramos Abbas, popularly known as Hush Poppy, is an infamous fraudster who is currently facing prosecution in the United States. He has reportedly confessed to committing the crime of money laundering and other internet fraud. In a news published by People's Gazette, Hush Poppy narrated how Abakari, the widely celebrated assistant and commissioner of police, partook in a $1.1 million fraud. According to People's Gazette during interrogations, Hush Poppy disclosed that he contacted Abakari to arrest Shibuzo Vincent, his fellow fraudster in Nigeria, who wanted to cheat him out of one of $1.1 million, which they stole from a Qatari businessman. Abakari allegedly swung into action and arrested Vincent. He then sent a photo of Vincent in jail to Hush Puppy, and after that, Hush Puppy paid money as a bribe to Abakari for a job well done. Abakari how, has, however, swiftly denied the corruption allegations against him, about him that have gone viral. So, in his words on Facebook, he posted, Friends, Abbas, who we later came to know as Hush Puppy, called our office about two years ago that somebody in Nigeria seriously threatened to kill his family here in Nigeria, and he sent the person's phone number and pleaded we take action before the person attacks his family. Oh, okay. But then, <laughs> listen, yeah, just get to America first. Let them do their investigations. Whatever happens, happens. You don't have to explain to us. It's the courts in America that you explain to. Because him saying this is all... I don't know he, I don't know if his lawyer would say, you know, or be happy with him giving such statements. Because really and truly, we didn't ask. What we want there is for you to go to America, we'll take a popcorn and we'll watch the outcome of this event. Um, wow. About Karis also said that Hush Puppy saw some native clothes on my social media page. I wanted to buy them. So I sent him the contact of the seller. He paid three hundred thousand naira to the seller and the clothes were delivered to our office. Later, he sent someone to collect the clothes for him. So you're now what his personal shopper? I'm so confused. <laughs> Abba Kerry assured Nigerians that his hands are clean and he will continue to uphold the law and serve Nigeria diligently. And those who want to see him fail will be disappointed. Listen, we don't care. Listen, your business and your problem is with America. You have you people there. The FBI wants you there. So go there. And whatever happens, happens. It's not us that you'll be explaining to. Go and explain to the jury. Explain to who it is there in America that you need to explain to that would actually, you know, um, influence the outcome of, you know, what the whole situation can be. Instead of telling us Nigeria, I know like, you are, it's cruise, but literally just having fun with the whole situation because you are, I mean, what can Nigerians do? What do you want the Nigerian government or Nigerians to do by telling them this, that you were not part of this? I mean, saying that you bought him clothes and you are his person, what? How does this relate? Did we ask you for this information? Because really and truly, the FBI would do the investigation, and after, we will now see the results, and then they would then give us the aftermath and the evidence that was used to incriminate you or not, if you turn out to be guilty or innocent. So, again, all this information, I don't think you're helping yourself, because really and truly, the actual culprit mentioned your name and said he paid you in a... In a, a, uh, he paid you and you were involved in a fraudulent activity of $1.1 million and um, money was sent to your account that is not an official... Okay, if it's a different thing, money was sent to the Nigerian Police Force account. I don't know if they have one, but they should have one. So if it's a different thing, if the money was sent there, but it was sent to your personal account, that is just like all forms of what. But then you can also argue, can um, can't you know, a public officer have dealings outside of his office when it comes to, you know, account numbers and, and sending money and not be seen as, you know, um, fine, but then it's legal, fine. However, the person sending you the money is a known fraudster, a top fraudster, a top, you know, Yahoo boy, basically. And this is what is happening. So that's the whole, that's the whole situation. You, yeah, it's not. It's, I mean, you can't argue that money coming inside your account. Of course, money can enter your account. People can send money to you, but where is that money coming from? Abba Kerry only assisted Hush Puppy in buying clothes. He wanted to bring him down because of how he's been defeating yes and I'm breaking peace to the south. 
right um someone here says and you expect us to believe you a canary man with no heart nor human soul i pity innocent men this devil must have killed a businessman once cried out how you for you forcefully took his money uh and detained him i pray you face the trial and go for it honestly i don't even know what abakaria has done but a lot of people are saying that he killed a lot of Igbo youth and a lot, a lot of uh, southeasterners um, so I'm now confused. Is it when, when did this happen? When was there a whole new massacre where apparently he's leading that? Because I've not seen that. Because I think that is where the vim and the passion of you know people wanting him to even be found guilty comes from. Because a lot of people are like, after you killed Igbos, the blood of the you know the Igbos you killed out you know working for them. You know, I mean, you, such comments are literally just everyone. I'm like, wait, there was an event where he was doing a madness. Okay. Um, Someone says Abakari is able to speak for himself. Yeah, he is able to speak for himself, but it's at the wrong time and to the wrong people. Why? Why is he on his Facebook page? I don't think that's make things better for him. But he needs he one hundred percent. He needs to go to America and meet meet with the court there because that's where the business lies. Honestly, it doesn't concern Nigerians in any way. Nigerians are just catching crews. Honestly, at this point. Because really and truly, you could you could be found guilty and be be punished, and then <laughs> it would taint the whole Nigerian police force, and ah, it would just be so interesting to see, very interesting to see, because these people never take accountability, or or want, or always like how I say it, they never take accountability, and it's never a thing where they try to look good or try to at least present an image of. Of you know of upholding the law and that because they have no standards and they have no shame, so now the world and because of this situation they are now forced to look at their image and how they look like and I think this is one thing about even the NSAS process that the government is still very much embarrassed about to date. It was just like, okay, fine, it's this different thing if the government committed an atrocity, but just the way they went about it in terms of just being so incompetent and so detached from the people and then the decisions they make afterwards with banning of social media accounts and you know hack um uh what do you call it tracing people on their social media accounts um tracing bank accounts stopping people at the airport i mean seizing passports and all that just so extra so again that embarrassment that they want to that they, that they don't feel because they don't make nigerians they will feel it because the world is watching them but i think i don't forget to like and subscribe